Imagine, you're having a discussion with someone who is a Jehovah's Witness, either by coming to your door or at their little makeshift track displays, and all of a sudden you hear them say, Jesus is the firstborn of every creature, implying that Jesus is a created being. Now, this may catch you off guard for a moment, but that's okay, because we'll be prepared with a response. Now, let's turn to the Bible and read the passage they are referring to. With the King James Version in context, however, feel free to compare and contrast. Colossians 1 verses 15 to 18 Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven, and that are in earth visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. The issue for our quotations, no heller friends, is the emphasis on all things were created by him and for him. And if he was not there to make all things, there could not be anything to even be born at all. We can also see that in the same passage, he is the firstborn of the dead which we know is about his resurrection and not about conception. Also, consider that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. If Jesus is the image of the invisible God, who is the image of the person of Jesus Christ? If Jesus is the image of God, God dwells inside him. This is not the last point, however, because when we turn to the first letter Paul writes to Timothy, we find one passage that completely destroys the idea that the person of Jesus was a created being. 1 Timothy 6 verses 13 to 16. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall shew, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and is the only one who hath immortality. The context is isolated only towards Christ, whose goings forth have been from everlasting, which is without beginning or end. Jesus told us in John 8 verse 24 that if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins, which is God Almighty. Although many will use vain deceit to sway you to believing Christ is someone other than God in the flesh, let your final authority in faith be the words of God and not the New World Translation.